All right guys, I'm about to take the old Ascot out for a little bit of a spin. I haven't taken this one out in a quite some time. I have my tank bag. This is my new speedometer. Unfortunately, this is the way to go about it. I have it plugged in. Let's see if it'll start. You have to use the choke a little bit. Now the thing with the Ascot is that it takes a while to really warm up. I'm gonna ride it to the uh, gas station and fill up because I don't know how many miles I can really do on this. Man, it's just so short compared to the bikes I usually have. And the reason I didn't use it over the winter, I guess we're still kind of in the winter, I don't know. But it's because the this bike gets so cold because there is no fairing. But today is warm, it's like 70 something degrees. So it actually feels really good. Actually, it's, it's the bike that feels the best as far as the temperature now. Man, it, it actually is quite nice and peppy. The type of sitting position that this bike has is completely different than what I'm used to in most bikes. You know in sport bikes you have kind of like this kind of crouched in legs back sort of position but this one you don't even sit in a chair like this it's so odd like your knees are kind of like high up they are scrunched up aimed at your chest you know and you sit on top of the bike as if like um, you're riding more of a bicycle it's a very abnormal uh, abnormal body position for riding you know I think now in the 2000s they've really honed in, honed in on the ergonomics of motorcycles but I think back in the day this is an 83 I don't think they took ergonomics very seriously I think that's not working now is the temperature gauge before it was fine but I kind of was looking at the radiator and the temperature so I wonder if I just touch the sensor yeah but like that thing that cluster is not working anymore look at that not even one gallon of gas here this is a tiny little gas tank I really like how the bike sounds it's not as loud as the KLR 650 but man the sitting position after a while I think this will get on your nerves it's like you're scrunched up it feels like a little toy you tell me why the ergonomics of this bike are just so unbelievably strange it really feels like one of the strangest bikes to sit on that I've ever experienced so first of all this bike is kind of weird it's got a shaft drive it's a, got a v-twin a v-twin 500 which is really cool and of course the shaft drive is one of the amazing parts of this bike but then they gave it a tiny little gas tank uh, you can barely go 80 to like 120 miles on this tank so it feels a little bit strange that's an old bmw right there it feels a little bit strange to um, have a bike with a shaft drive that has a very tiny little range I mean this range is the same as my scooter which is kind of odd my knees are so high up I only have like two or three inches from the top of my knee to the top of the very top of the gas tank and then on top of that my ankles are actually a little bit further back than my knees so it's not like it's a sitting position it feels a little sporty but it's confusing because this is not really supposed to be a sporty bike it's very it's a very strange bike but I think the strangeness and the the rareness of this bike is really what draws people yeah I just wanted to get this bike out on the road for just a little bit because it's really like a fantastic little thing but it does feel little even for me it's like tiny it almost feels about the same size as my Honda scooter but the motor is a lot faster and it's a lot more interesting to ride this you know it's funny like when you talk about motorcycles 
there is a certain character that each motorcycle has even from motorcycle to motorcycle of the same model they have a different character and car uh, motorcycle riders they always like put their own character into motorcycles so they put these mods to make it the bike their own like you know if you want more of a road oriented bike you might buy like a different seat or something it does feel like a horse that you are training and i think a lot of guys kind of see motorcycles almost like like horses it's a good thing you're not stacked harry or i'd be banging you right now <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck here. The cops won't bother me.